Hello, today I'm going to show you how to find your OBD2 port on a Mazda CX-5. And of course, delete and read failure codes. First step is open the driver's side door. And then go to the area where the pedals are. Clutch, brake, etc. And there you can see there is a, a white socket underneath. And there you can push in your OBD2 dongle in position. In this case, it's a wireless device. You can also have a wired model, of course. Now, let's have a seat at the driver's side and connect them. Then ignition on. That means if you have a start-stop button, only push it once. Job's done. Now, the um, device and the car ready for EOBD. Now, get into it. Make a full scan or automatic scan as you like then it will cost a little bit of time and you can enter the vehicle operation system with your device. Now your device has a couple of information, um, car information, parts, um, live diagnostic data, DTC. This is um, the failure and scan area. And you can see it is a fast scan, no failure codes now detected. If you have some failure codes, these failure codes will um, give you here some information about this. And if you fix the problem which um, your failure codes gives you, then you can delete the DTC by using deleting DTC. And you have to confirm this with yes. And after this, the failure code will delete out of the system. And everything, if you fix the problem, will be fine up now. If there are more codes or may more failures, etc., you can sort them and get the troubleshooting with your garage. If you finish this, you can go backward, escape. So now we are in the upper menu and now you can see some information about your car, information about your vehicle, NS information, general information, etc. And this will help you to um, give some information about your built-in vehicle parts or other device information you can now have here. Then there is um, another thing because of live data, which rounds per minute your engine is running right now, or temperature, pressure, etc. And this will help you to get more information about the failure or the DTZ codes, etc. And this helps you to fix the problem as well. And if everything is awesome you can go backward 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 and remove your obd2 dongle and then can um, can you go back on the road again this is really easy and if you have um, uh, like this here this is a professional scanner you have more information than a standard scanner but a standard scanner will help you too no problem with this then remove the dongle, job's done. Thanks for watching, please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon soon!